Joe in New York. You're live with Eric and V. Hi. Oh, hi. Did you say hey. Joe in New York? There's a big... Hi hmm? there. Hi. Uh, just, sorry, yeah, that there might be uh, some delay in the line, man. Go ahead. What's up? Yeah. Um, my experience with YouTube atheists, okay, hmm? especially the one in the comment sections of like atheist experience videos. Cause I was on the atheist experience four times and, mm -hmm. and, uh, three out of four times I was hung up on out of nowhere. And then the fourth time, uh, <laughs> I wasn't hung up on exactly, but, um, but still the conclu conclusion that Matt Dillahunty and, and Jenna Belk came mm -hmm. to, based on what I brought to the show was very dissatisfying to me. Um, okay. Well, I, anyway, so I, I, and, I can't speak to and, our older sister show because I'm not either of them and neither is V. But if you want to talk to us, oh, we'd yeah. be happy to talk to you. Um, very quickly, I understand that YouTube comments can be mean. Um, I, I've been on, I've guested on Christian shows where people have gone down and said uh, they're so excited and they're going to be so excited to see me burning in hell that I should kill myself, um, that just tons and tons of, of things, how I should kill myself. You know, I, I, so I understand YouTube comments can yeah, be mean and that really sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, hope, I hope that yeah. we as, a, as groups on both sides can agree to elevate the discourse. Um. I, I can't right, control right. people, and I hope that we can do that together. But I hope that you don't think that that's just a, like that's people, man. People are crappy. <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. that that's, yeah, I know. There's some. I, I think there are some Christians. But the thing that I would say, all right, I mean, <laughs> is that they're not real Christians. That's what I would. That, that that's what I would say. All right. Okay. How's that? How does that get away from the no true Scotsman argument first? How, how is it? What? I'm sorry, I missed you. Sure. How, how did you resolve the no true Scotsman issue first? A no true Scotsman. I'm. I'm not familiar much with the uh, philosophical lingo. Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm. I'm sorry. Um, I have been accused of of being very snooty when it comes to that. I, I need to do better about that. I apologize. Um, so no true Scotsman. It's the idea of, of being a gatekeeper and, and cutting people out of things that they're identified with based on things that don't really matter. Um, so uh, w w what's the original? How's the original? Yeah. So the original, the original no true Scotsman kind of, it looks like this. Uh, person one says, no Scotsman puts sugar in his porridge. But V, then, we know, you know, uh, uh, our, our, our friend over there, Tim, and uh, he was born and raised in Scotland, and he's putting sugar in his porridge right now. Ah, uh, but Eric, he's not a true Scotsman then. No true Scotsman puts sugar in their porridge. See, and, so it, it's, this, it's this attempt to get around... Uh, examples that counteract your understanding of a thing by saying, oh, well, it just doesn't count. And so one way to do that would be, oh, well, those are not real internet atheists if they offended you. That's, we don't claim them, they don't get the label or anything. And so we're, we're trying not to do that. We're saying, hey, yes, yeah, some internet atheists kind of suck sometimes and YouTube comments can be mean. Um, but we're not discounting All their right. identity. Right. So and we're just asking you to do the same here. Yeah, and also, also just applied, right. applied in my personal experience in V. I'm just going to assume it's applied in your experience as well. But when I was a Christian, we would see other people who identified themselves as Christians and be like, "Whoa, those are not true Christians." Nope, mm -hmm. they don't follow the Bible. They don't follow the Bible the way I do. They are not true Christians. And it seems to be a way that each of those Christian groups are all trying to invalidate each other. But on the outside. If somebody calls us and says, hey, talk heathen, I'm a Christian. Well, we, we could say, oh, but are you a true Christian? You know, how are we going to test it? Or we can go, okay, you're a Christian. 
Uh, I, I, we're not in the business of telling Christians who they are, what they believe, what do you believe and why, and we meet them where they're at. So if you say you're a Christian, we'll agree. But I, I would say that it would be very discourteous to cut out all Christians that don't believe exactly what you believe because, well... Or act in the way that you would them. act. Like if you if you're not one of those people who would wish wish us wish to see us burning in hell, that's great. Like cool. I want to talk to you more now that I know that. Um, but that doesn't mean that everybody who disagrees with you or thinks something you would disagree with don't count, right? Because then if we if we go by that logic, then things get very small very quick very quick. So we can either have Christianity as this very large billions of people believe it, billions of people are Christians, we outnumber other religious groups, or we can have only the people who think and act and and, and have my same moral standards are actual Christians, in which case that gets really small really quick. And 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 again, it's it's not yeah. just a, it's not just a Christian thing, right? Um, exactly. Jen, Jennifer Isaacs in the chat just put, "I dislike when theists or any gatekeeper of any labels invalidate people." We have that on our side. It's on. It's just a human thing. So you were saying that no true Christian, and I just wanted to ask you, how did you get away from the no true Scotsman thing? Well, I mean, you know, when I'm judging who a Christian is, I go by what. I feel in my heart Jesus Christ himself would do and he would never he would never say oh I want to see you burn in hell that's not that's not Jesus Christ Jesus Christ um I I'm not quite sure if this is uh if this is in the bible somewhere but I be, I believe you know God wants all of his children to return to him. He doesn't want God doesn't want to see people okay. burning in hell. So, so, uh, so actually, can, can I, 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 I would love to kind of engage you in that place because the no true Scotsman thing we've, we've done a lot, but I, I have to ask you, man. So you're saying God wants us all to go to heaven, right? Yeah. And I'm assuming based on my experience as a Christian, that this is kind of the testing ground where we're behaving with free will and, and having the autonomy to make decisions and are being judged based on those decisions, right? Yeah. And if we choose to um, commit evil acts and, and behave immorally, then we would judge not worthy and be sent to hell if we hadn't taken Jesus into our hearts, right? Uh, just there's prayer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I just want to make sure I'm not straw manning you here on this. Um, and and I, I remember focusing very heavily on the free will piece, right? You have to make the choice. Um, is there free will in heaven? Yeah. Okay. Can you commit evil in heaven? <laughs> uh I don't think so. I, 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 you know, I, I when I was a Christian, I didn't either. But here's the thing. If you could have free will and in, in choices in heaven and not, and still not, you know, choose and, and, and still not do evil things, then why would God do this to us? I mean, it's the problem of evil, essentially, is what it is. It's, you know, bad things happen, you have to experience bad things. But that doesn't mean that all of those bad things have to be as bad as they are, right? Why don't we just get skinned knees? Why do we have to get cancer? You know, why, why, why do we have to starve to death? Why don't we just have mild inconveniences? But, you know, even, even deeper at that really dark level, I don't know how you could possibly have a heaven where you're not an automaton because... If you could have free will in heaven, then that means that God can make a world without evil and chose to instead. And that would make, well, it doesn't mean that your God doesn't exist, but it would definitely mean that that God would be evil. What do you um, think? Uh, I'm sorry, if, if he creates a, a heaven that has free will, then it means he's evil? I, I right. Yeah. Get you there. Sure. No. No problem. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll say it again. Right. Um, if God could create a heaven with free will, that means that we could live the lives that we have here on Earth with free will, without evil, because God already proved the point that they could make a a paradise where everyone could still have free will and make choices. Um, so God would have chosen 
in this case, if you believe in sin, because I'm, I'm reaching back into my, into when I was a believer, right? You have, you have sin being in the world, but that would have been a creation by God that was unnecessary. What are your thoughts? Have you, have you kind of wrestled with that? What, what was your take? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've wrestled with it. Uh, yeah, because it's, I mean, it's a really, uh, <laughs> challenging kind of, um, subject. And so God, uh, you know, God himself is free and he doesn't want children who don't really appreciate the value of goodness and love. He wants people who do appreciate goodness and love and, and they, and, could, could, and the could only God way have... you can get that is, is by having free will, because if, if, if God just creates people to I don't know about that. Well, let's, 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 let's investigate that. Because that, that's a really interesting and, claim, Joe, because could God create people who appreciate goodness and honesty and, and all of that? And, have free will? Can can God create people to have those characteristics and free will? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't saying that 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 was not what He created. I'm saying that's what He is. That's what He did create. He created people okay. with free will who so, so who everyone goes to heaven. Be. No, no, no. Because some people make mistakes using their free will. And, but but uh, hold on, you, you just said that God could make us so that we wouldn't make that particular mistake and we'd still be able to have free will. So, what? No, 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 no. If, if, if he makes it so that you can't make mistakes, then that's mm -hmm. not free will. That's, no, that's we don't. Joe, 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 I can't fly. Because I cannot fly, does that mean I don't have free will? Can't breathe underwater. There are things we can't do that apparently we were created to not do, but that doesn't impact our free will. Why couldn't, why isn't it just, we can't murder someone. That's just not something we're capable of. That wouldn't impact free will in, in every other area of our life. Even, even our thoughts, man, uh, we are, our ability as a species to understand big numbers or long amounts of time, you know, geological time. We're just not really equipped for it. It doesn't mean that... Wouldn't that be the same? There are limitations, but yeah, like V said, they're not restrictions on our free will. If we have free will. We're meeting you pretty far where you're at to have this conversation, <laughs> by the way. I, I missed that because there was some laughing. What, what would you say? Oh, I, I finished that by saying... We're we're meeting you pretty far where you're at to have this conversation. By the way, I, I mean just because it's it, it's an interesting one to have. I think. Um, what do you think? Do you really think that by taking away our ability to wind up in eternal suffering and and don't don't get me started on whether or not that's okay because I think that's entirely wrong. But we'll just we'll just shelve that for now. Um, but. Why would God even give us the choice to be able to do that? I mean, you don't do that to your kid. You put up a baby gate so they don't go where they're not supposed to go. It doesn't mean you're restricting their free will. It means you care about them. Yeah, I mean... I don't know what I think. Whoa. You said, I don't exactly know. I just wanted to say, awesome. There are a lot of people who don't, yeah. are incredibly uncomfortable with saying, I don't know. Like, it mm -hmm. gives you that weird feeling right there in your chest, you know? And, and it's like, I don't know. But it's it's awesome. Cheers. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um... Oh, shoot, I kind of forgot what I was going to say now. Um, ah, I talked over you, damn it. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, how, how about this? How about um, uh, put something good together and um, we'll try and avoid the no true Scotsman because you're not going to say, well, those aren't true Christians. We'll, we'll, we'll ha have a topic and we'll address it well the next time you call in. 
Um, uh, We're not going anywhere, brother. Well. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Call back and, uh, and and we'll we'll talk to you again. Okay, man. All righty. All right. Take care of yourself, brother. Thanks. You too. Okay. Bye. 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 In the notes, it was all in caps. Atheists. Yeah. Well, well, what, what did it say? Atheists were being really rude in the comments. Yeah, atheists just have criminal uh, criminal mindsets or something. But uh, no, I think this is this is the point of this show. We talk people down and we we get them at least hopefully somewhat on the same page. I think yeah. that that we made we made progress with that call. Um, I'm excited for for Joe to call back in next week. I, me too. Me too. And I'm not trying to 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 talk crap after the fact. I'm just it, it's interesting because I, I wanted to jump in right away and be like, no, people suck. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's I mean, pe people atheist. suck to the people just... on the shows that they're watching, let, let alone the callers. Like, like there are going to be trolls in every chat, and some mm -hmm. of them are going to go after you for one reason or another. And it's uh, where they live. I, I, I mean, yeah, they live in the. <laughs> you go it, under a bridge, you're gonna hit a troll. That's just how that goes. Yeah, and and honestly, personally, when I look at it nowadays, I see a whole lot of people who are blowing steam in a place that they feel they are comfortable in doing that. I'd rather them write a screed in the not the chat in the comments than take that screed to their family. Cool. You know, yeah. um, it, it doesn't make us any more or less, you know, ruthless. It doesn't mean that atheists are the only people who do that. It's just people. But, yeah. you know, um, I like to think that I no longer leave as angry, ruthless comments under things as I did before. And uh, I, I, I hope and think to myself that that's where they are in their journey. <laughs>